is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we have another wwe action figure surgery episode for you guys and it is episode 22 first of all before we dive in i want to say what an epic effing night of wrestling we had last night nxt takeover new york was absolutely fantastic from start to finish and it had me freaking losing my mind man i mean that main event will make you just realize why you love wrestling so much man it'll just make you think i was up late last night just thinking about about it. I was like, man, what a great match. I literally even tweeted about it at like 2 a.m. I was just so mesmerized by it. But today we're going to get into some surgery and we're, we're going to forge on to WrestleMania on Sunday. But we got my boy Finn Balor featured today. We got my boy Kurt Angle featured today. And we have the WWE Champion, future WWE Champion. That's a that's a prediction and, and a spoiler in one. Kofi Kingston making an appearance, not really fixing up Kofi, more of just taking his limbs from him and sort of uh, making him Lieutenant Dan. But here today, we're going to do a sweet Finn Balor fix-up. I'm going to take my one of my extra ringside exclusive Finn Balors, do some mix and match it, make a really cool looking figure, and then we're going to take one of my Kurt Angles and make it into a hybrid, like, flashback slash current day Kurt Angle, like, sort of mixed in one, and I'll show you, you guys will see what I'm talking about at the end of the video once I put it all together, but uh, let's go ahead and talk about the switches that we're going to perform here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. So starting things out, guys, we're going to take my boy Finn Balor right here, who is uh, going to win the Intercontinental Championship tomorrow night, if nobody knew. We aren't going to see this version of Finn Balor. We're going to see the Demon King, man. The Demon is finally going to show up at WrestleMania. I'm super hyped for it. I cannot wait for my boy to win that Intercontinental title. But for today, we're going to take this head scan. This, like, I remember when everybody was so excited with this head scan. We're going to take this head scan off and we're going to replace it. Oh, uh, Kurt Angle. We're going to take it and switch it with the Top Talents. I just like the Top Talents more. It's got the true effects. It's got a nicer beard. It just has more light to Finn, and it'll make me a lot more happier to see this head scan over here. So we're going to switch these head scans, and not only that, we're going to take the lower legs of Finn off right here. Not, th after that, this, this figure will be done. We'll be done with the top talents, but we'll take the lower legs off of this Finn, and we're going to switch it with the lower legs of this Elite 43 Kofi Kingston. So we'll have the white lower legs resembling, you know, the taped knees or whatever, and then we'll have the white kick pads, and we'll flip it over to here. Then we're going to take these white wrist tape arms, and we're going to pop them on here. So we'll have white wrist tape, we'll have the same trunks, same knee pads, but we'll have lower legs in white and white kick pads tying into the white wrist tape and the white featured on throughout the trunks of the Finn Balor figure. So that's what we're going to do with Kofi and then Kofi, this is one of my extra Kofi, so I'll have him for parts in the future and that will be it for our Finn Balor figure. And then for Kurt Angle, getting him back here, the, the way he cracked his skull open on the pavement, uh, we're going to take these two, uh, these two Kurt Angles and we have the Elite 50 and we have the Elite 66 and we're going to switch the head scans we're going to switch the arms and we're going to switch the lower legs and boots so that the lower legs and you know red and white boots will be over here on this angle the bare arms will be on this angle and the better head scan will be on this angle so it'll kind of be like a flashback current slash hybrid Kurt Angle figure that I'm going to go for so that is what we're going to do here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery should be really sweet nasty farticles if you guys look in the background we have rearranged the backstage and that's because we are at a different arena for the MDT Royal Rumble, and I'm currently filming that, and I didn't want it to be the exact same because, you know, what? how boring is that? I wanted to switch it up a little bit, so I switched it up a little bit because, you know, maybe some matches went backstage. Who knows? You, that's sort of a, a little hint for you guys. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. What we can do is, uh, I guess we can start off with the head swaps, and then we'll go into the arm swaps, and then we'll go into the lower legs. So we'll do it sort of section by section. We'll go from the head to the arms to the lower legs, and we'll call it a freaking day. So let's go Go ahead and start off our WWE action figure surgery. All right, guys, so I got them in position. Now I'm just going to slide the white hair dryer right here and see if this will work. All right, guys, let's see if that is good enough. We're going to start off with the top talent Sven Balor figure. And golly, man, I swear to Jesus, these figures, man, they be trying to like just ruin my surgery. Oh my God, I got his head off though, so that's that's good. Uh, ringside exclusive Finn Balor coming up next. And I really don't like this head scan that much. I used to like it and praise it, but you know, the, the more Mattel goes on, the better their head scans get. So there we go, we'll go ahead and pop this over here. That way we're done with this top talent Finn Balor. And there you go, and it's all screwy. All right, so we got that. Now we'll pop on this head scan to the ringside exclusive. All right, so we got that on there finally, and now we're gonna go over to Kurt Angle if it's even like warm enough still. 
Oh snap, I thought the freaking neck peg was about to snap off, but we got that ugly head skin off. Now we can go over to the Elite 59 and that's a lot better. And we can pop this over here and we'll be done with the head scans. Golly, I actually noticed on the Finn Balor, the top talents head scan, it had like, oh, why does that sit so low? That is ugly. Oh, well, maybe it doesn't sit too low. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and pop the Elite 66 onto the Elite 59 body. And there we go. So now we have that head over there. And I guess now we're going to move on to the arms. So now we're going to flip the arms up at the current angle, flip the other arms up of the other current angle. Go ahead and pop them on top of each other here. And then we will take our Finn Balors and do the same thing. Wait, no, we don't have to do it to our... We're done with the top talents. That's correct. Now we just have to heat up these arms. And while we're doing that, heat up the white wrist tape arms that were just sitting off to the side. All right, guys, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and find out. And oh my God, Finn Balor's torso's on fire. Oh God, Jesus Christ almighty. All right, well, we gotta go fast. Popping the white wrist tape on there and then flipping him around and popping the white wrist tape on there. So Finn Balor's done for now until we get to the lower legs. Now we'll move it on to Kurt, Kurt Angle. Going on to the left arm, popping that off on the right arm. It sucks these won't be interchangeable, but that's not that big of a deal to me, so I don't really care about the interchangeable hands at this point. Um, now we're popping off the bare arms. Second Amendment, right to bare arms. And we're going over to the right arm at the other angle, popping on the bare arms, like I just stated. And then we're going back to the Star Spangled Banner arms from the Elite 66, popping them onto the Elite 59. And then we will be dunsies with the arms and there we got, and now all we have to do is switch on our lower legs. So the lower legs is probably gonna be a little bit more difficult, so what we're gonna to have to do is slide up these big, gigantic knee pads from Kurt Angle. Go ahead and slide those up a little bit. Go ahead and slide these up as well. So we got the knee pads slid up, and then I guess we can do the same thing over here, even though these aren't near as bad. So there we go. So now we need to widen the arms a little bit. Go ahead and get that in line, because you know it's gonna heat up all together. And then we gotta go over to our ringside exclusive Finn Balor, do the same thing, roll the knee pads up, put them in position there. I highly, I will be, I will literally be just astronomically shocked if I can get all, if I can heat up all four of these lower leg pieces and, and slash kick pads. And actually what's good is I don't have to pop off the lower legs and the, the kick pads there. I can just pop off the lower legs and just switch out the lower legs. That will actually work better instead of having to, you know, pop the lower legs, kick pads, all that good stuff. It'll all be in one since we're leaving those kick pads attached to those lower legs. But I will be just blown away. If we can heat up all four of these lower legs, cut the hair dryer off, and while they're all still hot, switch all four of them and reattach all four of them, I will be mind blown. I will. Li that will literally be the coolest thing I've ever. That will be the biggest goal achieved ever by my damn toys. So let's go ahead and hit it, and we're just gonna see if it. Ha I highly doubt it happens, but you never know, guys. Anything can happen here on MDT's channel. Let's just hit it. Alright guys, that was a really long time. I doubt we get it done, but let's go ahead and start off with Kofi and then we'll move on to the next one, but I may burn myself. But there's the, that's the, you see how easy that lower leg popped off? Uh, that's how freaking hot they are. It's like legitimately, like the plastic could could freaking melt. It could melt, I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, so there, there goes Kofi's. We're actually done with Kofi. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Going on over to Finn Balor. Is his actually hot enough? Is it hot enough? It is hot enough to pop off at least. We gotta get the peg out though. We not only have to get the lower leg re uh, unattached, but we also have to reattach the Kofi. But let's go ahead and get this off. See if we can do the same thing here. There's that lower leg. Can we get it done, Brad? It's gonna be amazing if we can do it. Gotta pop pe the pegs in here. You guys are seeing this in real time now. You guys are seeing this in real time. If this happens, this will be freaking incredible. I've never seen it done. Can it be done? Kofi Kingston's lower leg going on here. Can we get it attached? 
gonna be it's not looking good i don't know what happened with that one but we're, we're gonna go over to the left leg here and jeez man if that would just freaking we're failing we're failing the freaking other leg just fell off it didn't even give me a chance yeah i knew it'd be impossible yeah i didn't think it'd be possible guys freaking sucks so i had to re i actually just reheated it up so if you guys are gonna be shocked by me reattaching this after it's cooled off a little bit that is gonna be why i had to reheat it up because it's so stupid and there we go so we did get it attached even though his legs look freaking loosey-goosey because they actually are because they're still heated up let's move on to kurt angle now and i don't know how well this is gonna happen because i don't know if they've cooled off i don't think they reheated up when i did it but we'll try it anyway there goes the there goes the left leg going over the right leg there's that i'm really not that interested in reattaching these so we may just go ahead and do the others dang that popped off pretty easy there um doubt it goes like that up here because it's stupid oh snap did we actually get that oh snap that actually worked pretty well there i don't know how that reattached so well but Maybe it's because the peg? I don't know. But let's go ahead and see if we can get the right leg. This will be pretty nice. I mean, we didn't get them all four, but to get, you know, the Kurt Angles after not heating them up as long, I mean, that'd be pretty wicked if we could get that. Um, the struggle I'm having is trying to get this wide enough to go, you know, over this and then get back over the other side of the peg. It's really pissing me off pretty good. We got the left leg, I just can't get this right leg. Now I effing dropped it and I can't even find the effing leg. All right, so trying this thing again, I had to reheat it up and oh my sweet God Jesus. All right, so trying this again, again, like I said, I gotta get <laughs> I uh, had to reheat it up and I literally can't even hold it. That's how freaking long I heated it up here, but maybe this will work this time and God almighty hell. Did we get it? We got the one side, just, just push it through. Just push it through. All right, we got it. We got it, okay. Jesus Christ, we finally got it. We'll take a look at him at the end. And now we're going to try and get the other lower legs onto the other Kurt Angle right quick before we take a look at everything we've done here today. Actually, we actually have one more step to do on the Finn Balor. We have to uh, acetone those Kofi Kingston designs off, right? Because, I mean, you, we don't want that, those on there. We want to have the... Uh, we want them to be blank. We want them to be completely white. We don't want the blue designs on there. So, uh, yeah, I knew that it would be like that. See, this this peg is much shorter. So, since the peg is much shorter, that's why uh, that long peg went straight through that leg on the other Kurt Angle. And on this one, it's going to be tougher because the, the lower legs have a uh, are working with a shorter peg. So that is why that was much easier on the other one, but on this one it's much harder, but I think I did get it that time. All right, so I guess the pegs work on either one, but uh, let's go ahead and get the acetone. We're gonna work with the acetone a little bit. I guess you guys can see like a time lapse of me acetoning off these blue designs off of the Finn Balor, and that's what we're gonna do. And then we'll take a look at every single thing that we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Alright guys, I don't think I got much of the time lapse because I wanted to make sure that I got everything and the camera angles was all weird and it was just dumb and stupid. But here we have everything that we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Of course, the top talents, we've seen this before. It's just the ringside exclusive head scan on there. Not much to it. It will go onto the Finn Balor shelf and await for a future custom to be made. Not much about Kofi Kingston either, guys, as we just, you know, we Lieutenant Danned him. So now he's he, he's all uh, he's all beat to hell. Here is the hybrid between the Elite 59 with the Elite 66 lower legs and arms on there and of course the head scan and I think that this head scan may sit a little bit high on this head scan I'm not sure and then I think the Elite 59 may sit a little low on the Elite 66 body I'm not sure but I really don't care for that figure it looks kind of whack to me here are the two main event guys of this video don't know what the hell that was with my voice I like started to yawn and then I interrupted myself and sounded like a freaking moron of this video this video video but anyways here we go guys uh, I love the way this figure came out, and this is actually inspired by my boy Jesus Customs on Instagram. He actually goes by crowned underscore Jesus now on Instagram, but uh, I love the way it came out. I love the Top Talents head scan on here. I think he put one of the Finn Balor basic heads on there instead of this head. He also had taped fingers instead of this look, and I think he painted up his kick pads, and he didn't have the white lower legs, so it's not exactly the same, but it was inspired by him, so I did want to give him some credit there. He also painted the gold on the shoes. I didn't want to do that 
for now. I just wanted to have this look, and I think it looks great. I love the white kick pad look with this um, attire with the white wrist tape and everything in between. Top Talent's head skin makes this figure look even better, and it sucks because I can't use it on the pick fed because Finn Balor's dead. So, you know, it is what it is. You can't, you can't do, man. I mean, Kenny Omega killed him, and he's gone. So, there is that. And then we have the Kurt Angle hybrid between the, cur the current Kurt Angle and the, you know, the old school Kurt Angle. And here we go. I love the way this came out. I love the head scan. I actually like the SummerSlam basic head scan more, and I actually have one of those, but it's on my current figure that I'm using for my predictions and stuff, so I'm not going to pop that off just yet because I absolutely hate this head scan. So once I'm done with predictions and, you know, Mania review and all that, I may pop this over here for future videos since Kurt Angle won't be wrestling anymore. But uh, bare arms look good. You know, they're, they're maybe a bit jacked, but I still like them for a, for a Kurt Angle look. I love the red boots over the, you know, wrestling shoes. I like these knee pads for this. I may switch them out for the medium size, you know, these style, but in the same color blue. I don't know. I kind of like the stars, though. Kind of looks pretty nice, but I love the red boots. I think they look great. I think the Kurt Angle looks great, and I'm super duper happy with both of the figures and the way they turned out, so it was a successful WWE action figure surgery here on episode number 22, but that pretty much does it for today's episode of action figure surgery, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I would love to know your comments down below, what you think of the Finn Balor, what you think of the Kurt Angle. Please let me know down in the comment section below who's excited for WrestleMania tomorrow. I know I freaking am. I'm freaking just losing my mind, ready to see, you know, what Finn Balor the demon looks like so I can do the custom. I'm ready to see what Seth Rollins looks like so I can do his custom and I'm excited just to see the matches and, and everything in between. Um, like I said on Twitter, I, I mainly just focus on the, the demon, Seth Rollins attire and then Randy Orton versus AJ Styles. That's literally, I mean uh, and Finn Balor becoming Intercontinental Champion. Seeing how the Brock Lesnar Seth Rollins match is booked, you know, I think that Brock's going to win but I'm excited to see how they do it, you know, if it's going to be the way that Finn Balor did. I don't know. Every time Brock Lesnar locks up with a smaller guy. I'm holding my breath thinking, oh my God, can they do it? So I, I like that aspect of his matches and I'm looking forward to that. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.